Captain's log. It's been what feels like years. In reality, about 15 minutes of Tractor Olympics. Will it ever stop? Yo, I don't know. Kick off the mic and I'll go. <laughs> also, Captain's log. I'm losing my shit. Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day so far. Um, today, as you saw in the title, we're obviously going to be getting in to my month end favorites, but a couple of things. Number one, if you hear like a kind of noise, it's my dad playing with one of his loud toil toils, one of his loud tools. And uh, I, I, there's just nothing I can do about that. As y'all know, when boys get toys, they play with them. And my dad is just, he's really enjoying making noise during the situation that is happening around us. So it's great. Um, but I just wanted to mention that just in case you hear in the background. It's really loud for me, but I tried to like rearrange the mic and stuff. So hopefully you guys don't hear it. Um, but then going into the products for today, I realized as I sat down, I really don't have like a ton of stuff to talk about. And then it kind of occurred to me, did anybody else feel like April just flew by? Because I have like a, a calendar of stuff for filming and whatnot. And when I sat down to start picking stuff out for today's video, I couldn't believe it was already time to shoot a favorites video. And I'm just like, I don't know why that is just so like crazy to me, but I just feel like the entire month flew by. Like everybody's at home, everybody's stuck. You can't go anywhere. You can't do anything. But for some reason, I just, I feel like yesterday it was April 3rd and it, it, April's over now. And I'm just like, where did it go? I don't know. You can tell me down below if that's you. I'm just going to go ahead and dive in with the items that I do have. And something that I thought was really cool about this month, normally I have more makeup than anything else. And this month I actually have a really wide array of stuff to talk about, whether there is a little bit of apparel, a little bit of skincare, a little hair care, a little makeup. Like I feel like even though I didn't touch as much makeup, maybe I just had like broader senses of everything else. I'm not sure, but let's go ahead and start off with apparel because for some reason, those are the things that I don't have with me. So the the first thing I want to talk about is how much I am loving my hoodie that I got from Civil Regime. I have actually, I think I might have two now. One's more blue, one's multicolored, and I am absolutely obsessed with these hoodies, you guys. They are so beautiful. The stitching is fantastic, and the only reason I'm not wearing it right now is because I got my new Santagato Studio merch, and I just have to rep it. Y'all know I love the basement yard, other people's lives, the stank boys. I love it all. And while we're on the topic, podcasts and those three specifically, I have just been obsessed with because I feel like during this time of not being able to go anywhere or like do anything, I think listening to podcasts and like watching YouTube videos and, and just getting that sense of like being with other people, even though obviously you're not, but you still get to feel that piece of normalcy and you still get to like enjoy, almost like enjoying other people's company for a minute. It's just really nice. And just to go into it a little bit, obviously they don't know who I am, but San Agato Studios, it all started with a show called The Basement Yard, which is now a podcast with the creator of San Agato Studios and the originator of the basement yard, which is Joe Sanagato. And uh, now he has a co-host and his name is Danny Priori. The two of them are absolutely hilarious. Um, and they just talk about whatever comes into their mind. They are very raunchy. So definitely, you know, keep that in mind if you have kids or if that's not your type of humor. But the two of them are great for just like overall funny humor, good type shit on that podcast. And then if you're looking for something a little bit more um, informative or if you're really into relational type stuff, you might enjoy um, another show that they do called Other People's Lives. And that is with the host, Joe Sanagato, and the other co-host, which is Greg Dybeck. And that show is absolutely fantastic. Again, if you're into anything um, relational or just getting to know or like understand other people, whether it's uh, flat earthers, they've touched on that, they've touched on polygamy, they've touched on just a ton of things. And they do so by actually getting into contact with people that do believe or otherwise, you know, they advocate for these things. Sometimes it's pro bulimia or anorexia, I can't remember which. And other times it's like, hey, I'm a, I'm a paid escort. This is what it's like, life of a porn star, whatever. And they really just get into not just the surface level, like funny stuff, but also really trying to understand why these people think the way they think. And it's just a really, really good podcast. If you are into that sort of thing, I highly recommend it. And then the third podcast that's put out by San Agato Studios is actually the newest of the three. And that is The Stank. And that's put together by Danny Priori, who is the co-host from The Basement Yard, and one of Joe's and his other friends, Frank Alvarez. The two of them are supposed to cover more digital type media, video games, movies, that 
sort of thing. And uh, suffice to say, because the two of them have a very interesting sense of humor, it ends up being those two areas kind of mashed together with other things. And before you know it, it's just a funny podcast. To be perfectly honest with you, I don't understand when they start getting into like movies and directors and like titles and video games. I don't understand shit about that world. I'm from Northern Michigan. I know nothing, okay, when it comes to, to that world. But I really do enjoy listening to them because they are so relational and they put it in different ways and just give different perspectives on things that it's just fun to watch and they're fun to listen to. And I think if you're into that sort of thing, you can have a lot to glean. But even if you're not and you're like me, it's still funny as hell to listen to, to watch. Of course, I'll leave all of those listed down below if you want to check out their YouTubes and that sort of thing. But guys, I just highly recommend if you haven't, maybe you could check those three out, see if there's something for you. And of course, if you guys have a podcast that you are obsessed with, I would love it if you drop it down in the comments because I don't care if it's an actual podcast that only streams or if it's one that you can actually see on YouTube. I don't care. Whichever one you have, just leave it down in the comments because um, I would love it if not only I could check them out, but maybe other people need recommendations. Guys, I guess all of this is just to say I've been loving my Civil Regime hoodie, which I think is where all of this started. So A plus to that, A plus to the podcast. Let's move on. I talk a lot. Sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry. <laughs> you just had to ruin it, didn't you? I was going for villain and then just kidding tractor it really ruins my, my vicious vibe. All right, so next up, we're gonna go in to the one skincare product that I have, and this was actually sent to me by Good Molecules. This is their pineapple exfoliating powder, and this stuff is absolutely fantastic. I love using this at the end of the day, like I've already removed my makeup, and what it does is it goes in and it just gently like buffs and, and lightly exfoliates the top layer of your skin after, again, you've already cleansed and removed your makeup. And what I've noticed with this is that it does such a beautiful job at giving me just a light resurfacing. I feel like my texture has improved, but it's so incredibly gentle on the skin that it doesn't like make me red or give me like like any weird like extra dry type feeling on the surface of my skin, which is something that I have noticed with other brands, not this one and not Tatcha, but other brands that I've tried where they don't get like the grain or the, the size of the product inside refined enough. It actually goes in and, and it'll like feel like it's kind of tearing apart my skin and you absolutely do not want that. Um, these are designed to be a soluble type way to lightly exfoliate the surface of your skin, meaning you take some of this powder right here and it just comes in like a little spout so you can just kind of pour it out like so, okay? And it comes out into a powder. And this powder actually becomes more of an emollient paste when you work it over your face. What ends up happening is as you start rubbing it over your face, you can feel like the little bit of grit that it has, but then it, it eventually just turns into a thicker paste so you can't over exfoliate or like overly rough up the surface of your skin because it only will last so long in water. And what I've noticed with this is not only is it very comparable to the Tatcha Rice Polish, which again, it's a great product, but it's very expensive. And for those of you that don't know, I know I've talked about them before, but Good Molecules is actually the in-house like skincare beauty brand for Beautylish, which is a, an amazing online retailer. If you've never shopped with them, you are missing out. They are fantastic. Uh, like shipping, customer service, you can text them. They're just great. But this is their in-house brand. So it's way, way more affordable than a ton of other skincare. And they've sent me a fair amount of like skincare and stuff that I've tested. And overall, their products are really nice. The ingredients are good. And what I like about them is that they're a more affordable and simplistic approach to other stuff that I feel like is just so overdone and it's so dramatic and it's so expensive. And I just wanted to mention this in case you are someone like me who has a lot of like surface texture. This is an amazing way to lightly just kind of buff and refine your skin or into exfoliating powders. If you like the one from Tatcha, this might be something to look at. Uh, Cause like I said, even though it was sent to me, I've been using it a ton and I love it. And then, oh yeah, by the way, I've only used for how much I have used this. Again, I've used it, I mean, easily, I would say I probably used this 20, 30 times, okay? Like I, I've been using it a lot lately and I've only down to here. So like this bottle will last you a considerable amount of time because it really doesn't take a lot and it's just really good. So highly recommend, super, super nice. All right, so let's have a real talk for just a second because I want no judgment. Like, first of all, y'all don't judge me, okay? Because I feel a little bit like, I'm actually shocked at myself for purchasing this item, but at the same time, I don't regret it at all. Um, you ever have that that item that when you buy it and you spend the money, you're just like, mm, it's not gonna be worth it, it's gonna suck. And then you feel like guilty somehow for loving such an expensive product. That is me with my next item because y'all, I did it. I just did the damn thing and I bought the Way Shampoo and Conditioner and I 
can't stop. Okay, this is so good. They came out with a line for fine, for medium hair, and for thick hair, I want to say. And I did go ahead and purchase the fine version because my hair is very fine. Like, the, the strands of it are very fine. I just have a lot of it, but overall, my hair is very fine, and it's very delicate. Let's just go ahead and talk about it. Let's just talk about all the ways that this is great. Number one, let's talk about the smell because, oh, I'm convinced this is like, this is what angels smell like, all right? This stuff smells so good. And I will actually double down and say, not only does it smell good, it is a smell that will last in my hair through multiple days of just dry shampoo. Like it still smells good on the second and the third day. Like, my hair never retains smell good products that long. And it just, it, oh my, the smell is just intoxicating. I better take like a little whiff real quick just to remind myself. Oh God, it smells, seriously, it smells like high-end hair care, like hair oils and stuff like that, but sh the shampoo and conditioner version, it just smells so good. So number one, smells great. But number two, I mean, you wouldn't buy a shampoo and conditioner if it didn't actually clean and work really well, right? works amazingly. The shampoo itself is so, um, I, um, I always want to say that it has like a concentrated kind of feel to it because I feel like it does take me less product to actually clean and cleanse my hair, which again, as someone who uses copious amounts of dry shampoo and hairspray, that that's saying something. And this does a really nice job at cutting through all of that, still getting sudsy. And even with me using, I would say maybe a third less, sometimes half of what I would normally use, it still works really, really well. Again, just cleansing on the shampoo shampoo side. Then on the conditioner side, y'all, my hair, yes, this is actually a great example. Yesterday, I went to wash my hair, okay? I had, because I put my hair up in one of my cocoon, like my foofy things up here, and y'all know, when I put those things on the top of my head, first of all, they are there for days. They could survive longer than a cockroach up on my head. I just said cockroach. Oh, well, let it go. Uh, but my, you know, moral of the story, poof, my poof, it could live on its own. It's a life-sustaining force, okay? So when I take that out, it can take some work to try to, like, get my hair to be, like, hair again and not, like, a bombshell. And this stuff, like, all I did, I washed my hair like normal. My hair was still, you know, pretty ratty while I was washing it. So then I went ahead and I put in a dose of my conditioner, and I really didn't anticipate that it would, like, help me actually get out this giant ball. Like, this has probably been the largest rat's nest I have had in a minute. And, guys, I put it in, and as I'm working it through my hair, you know, I kind of start doing this and then I lightly, just very lightly, never rough or, you know, like aggressive or anything. I just very lightly kind of like made sure, you know, to put some conditioner in my hands. And again, I didn't use a ton. It's not like I'm going in there with a half a cup and really, you know, getting it thick in there. I just took a normal amount and just made sure to gently work it through. And y'all, when I got out of the shower, I was able to actually take my brush and like work it through. Now, don't get me wrong. It wasn't like detangled, falling out. You know, I have like Esmeralda beautiful hair over here. Let's be realistic. But I was able to actually actually brush my hair out and the knots that were like all up on the top or like the crown of my head they weren't there they actually had like moved themselves down in a weird way and they were like lower they were a lot less like rigid they were more um relaxed and I was able to actually brush my hair without tugging and it was just it was an amazing experience okay moral of the story and obviously like I said at the beginning of this whole little spiel this is very expensive and I'm not gonna sit here and be like oh yeah you should definitely try it even though one of these bottles is $28 let's be real guys when it takes me almost $60 to buy a shampoo and conditioner that are this size. These are only 10 ounces. It's very expensive, okay? Like, we, we can gather that on our own. But I will say this, all right? And again, I'm not going to tell you to, like, run out and purchase it. And again, I've already touched on the smell good and the, the conditioner and, like, the fact that it's really good and the soap is really sudsy and all that. That's great. But this, I think, what sets it apart and the reason that I think it actually is worth a higher price tag is I think it actually does go through and work for fine hair. And I've tried a lot, and I know that probably sounds really weird, but like if you have fine hair or even thick hair, you know, apply it to whatever type of hair you have. Um, you know how you'll just try a standard shampoo or a standard conditioner and you feel like, oh yeah, it cleaned my hair, but it didn't really do anything. I feel like this shampoo and conditioner actually works for the hair that it's rated for. Like I have fine hair and it's very difficult to clean it and to make it, keep it safe because like, you know, again, fine hair can be a little bit more brittle sometimes and a little bit more finicky, but it's also really difficult to get it to feel uh, smooth and to get it to feel voluminous and to get it to feel like it has like life and body to it. And I feel like this shampoo and conditioner does all of those things and it makes every individual piece of hair feel like it's its own powerful ass woman. And I just, I know, again, I know it sounds weird, but it's, it's so good. And I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't tried it for myself. All right. So now that we're into makeup, I'm not going to expound on these products a ton because you've already heard me talk about them and seen me use them over and over again. But I just want to shout them out because they are so good. And we're going to kick it off with none other than the Fenty Fly Pencil.
pencils, y'all. These things are so good. And here's what I'm gonna instantly do. I'm going to take the black one out of the running and say, if you already have a black one from the drugstore that you love, I love the, I think it's Maybelline Master Studio, something like that. I'll leave it linked down below. But if you already have one of those that you love, you can just, you know, disregard the black one. I love it. It's really good. I think it's worth it. But again, if you have a cheaper version that you can try, you could go that route. And I do that because I think where these pencils really shine, like if I just had to boil it down, it would be that the pigmentation and the vibrancy not only applies as vibrant as it looks when you swatch it or in the end right here, but it also stays put and it gives you that same color throughout the day. And that's what I really, really like about these. And while we're on the topic, I did hear a couple of you say, I want to say it was from LA Girl, that they have like this electric shade of eye pencils. And some of you said that they are considered dupes or they're trying to call them dupes for these. Let me know down below if that's your experience or not. I haven't tried them. I don't know. Should I try them? I don't know, but um, I've heard that they're really good. So something to consider. Again, I can't vouch for that myself, but these are so good, you guys. So good. Now, the next item I have is also from Fenty, and it really shocks me that I love this as much as I do. No shade to Fenty, but y'all, I did not think I would like these little eyeshadow palettes nearly as much as I do. And I have used these almost every single day that I have done my makeup. Like, testing them out, yes, sure, I would use them for that, but I actually find myself, like, gravitating towards them. Now, just to go into the ones that I have, just as a brief run through. I have seven, five, six, and two. So seven is the more camo-esque palette. It has like those tones in it. And this one I've been using way more than I thought I would. And then this right here is number five. This is their like peachy type palette. And this I've been using just as like a nice all over light kind of makeup day. And then this duo that I bought, this is number six and number two. And I actually bought these ones to work together. Number six is much more on like the deep smoky toned purple area. Whereas number two is the very similar, but a lighter version. And it has a little bit more of a pop to it and these I've been loving just for like that deep smoky eye and again I'm not really much of like a smoky eye person these days but let me just tell you the smoky eye that I did in the video where I tested these out I was obsessed with that I love the way those photos look for me that entire look whether it was the outfit the hair everything I just feel like it all came together so well and it was all centered solely around these two products like these two palettes right here and the eye look that I was able to build with them and I just I absolutely love the way that it turned out. I wanted to mention these, you know, I, I think they're all really good, but they're all very good for different reasons. So maybe if there's one eye look or one aesthetic that you're into, you could start off with that palette and see if you liked them. But I will tell you just like from my personal experience, and I will be 100% honest, I did not expect to like these, um, especially I like them enough to put them in a favorites video. And they have just been so good, so consistent, and they're so easy to reach for. I really enjoy them. And then the last item that I have is a highlight, and y'all knew this would be coming in at some point. This is the Revlon Skin Light highlight. I love this so much. I tested it out maybe like a month ago in new makeup or new at the drugstore. I can link it up there. This is the shade 201 Daybreak Glimmer. I don't care what anybody says. All right, this highlight, it is a high-end highlight. It is beautiful. It is glimmery. It is shimmery. It is so smooth. It's refined. It settles into the skin. It doesn't emphasize texture or pores. Like this, to me, that you just, you can't go wrong. Like watch, I'll just kind of work it out for you guys. Look at how beautiful and like it, it has a, a light reflecting natural kind of quality to it while still being just blinding and over the top at the same time. And there's really not much else to say. Like, it's a love affair that I have just been so proud of. I have made such a huge dent. I don't know if you can even see it on camera, but there used to be like a little wave in this pan and I flattened that bitch out. I was like, mm, honey, not today. There's not going to be no wave in my pan because I have been using it almost every day. It's beautiful and it's just, again, so silky, so smooth. But you guys, that is it. That concludes my April favorites. Let me know yours down below. Um, and you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to say nothing, but like the people that think maybe your comment doesn't make a difference or like, hey, she won't even see it, whatever. If it hadn't been for those of you down in the comments, I never would have tried or fell in love with this shampoo and conditioner. Just saying. So your comments make a difference. I read them. I listen. I heed your words. And it's really good for me to get extra suggestions because whether it's something you've already tried or something that you'd like me to try, something you think is not good or should I stay away from, whatever, it's still good because it's all just like open knowledge that you can not only give to me, but give to each other. And I know sometimes it can be intimidating to leave thoughts in the comments, which is why I'm, I'm, I'm putting this out here. Whatever you have to say, no matter if you think it's inconsequential or if it's stupid or like nobody cares, I promise you that that is not true. So please feel free to leave your stuff down below. 
And then to the rest of you, please feel free, go down there and like and heart and comment and reply to other people because it's really nice to build that community aspect with other people, especially on a platform in the comments where there's gonna be, you know, a lot of different ideas and thoughts going around. So those are just my two cents. You guys can, of course, like I said, let me know your likes and dislikes for the month of April down below. If you haven't checked me out yet on Instagram and on Twitter, those will also be linked in the description along with all of these products if you'd like to shop them. Of course, if you haven't subscribed, please be sure to do that before you leave. I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and they go up around 7 a.m. my time here in good old Northern Michigan. I think that that's it, you guys. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh my God, it's been such a stressful time. I smell vegetables. I smell vegetables. I smell them. Yes, I do. Blue skirt do. We can do. Ah. I feel like last month and this month I've I I look I don't know. Ma 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 Will it ever stop? Yo, I don't know. Kick off the mic and I'll go. <laughs> also, Captain's Log, I'm losing my shit. <laughs>